I'm Jake with SendCut Send, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to configure bends in the SendCut Send app. So sometimes those new features can be a little bit intimidating, but let's just talk about how easy it is to go from CAD, the SendCut Send's website, to an actual bent part in your hands. So let's look at this bent part in this software. So in this software, I have that bent part in here. I can create just a flat pattern by slip, simply clicking on one of the faces and it opens up our flat pattern here. This gives us a bent line and it also gives us our die lines on the outside. The great thing is, is we can simply go here, create a DXF and send it over to SendCut Send's website. So once we get the DXFs in and we select our material, we get to the post-processing part of our quoting process. We can click on bending, go in, and we can actually see an outline of the part along with the bend line. We have multiple bend lines, multiple bend points will be located here. If we end up going, we can change this to any angle that we want within their criteria. If we end up going too much, it'll auto-correct down to 130. We can then select, so we want to select 90 degrees, which is what the part is we can select direction is up or down. On this part, it doesn't matter, but we have to remember that what we're looking at is the flat face. Up would be in this orientation, down would be in this orientation. So if it does matter in your part, think of the bends being cut towards you or down away from you. So if we select up and we add bending, we're done. We can go ahead and add that to the cart and finish our purchase. That'll give us a part that's bent in our order just like we wanted it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.